First, I was hoping you could just talk to me a little bit about why you wanted to um, get involved with the health fair. Well, being part of uh, you know, Live Well Nebraska was something that uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield brought to us and said, you know, this is an opportunity to get back to the rural communities of Nebraska and show, you know, everybody in you know central Nebraska that dreams come true through hard work and winning Olympic gold medals. And after success, a lot of times there's uh, you know low points, there's failures, and me gaining the weight and getting on the Biggest Loser, you know, I became healthy again, and my ultimate goal was becoming healthy enough to make the Olympic team and uh, you know sharing that vision here and Kearney and all across Nebraska, you know, it's an opportunity for me to share the vision of life and uh, success. And one of the things that I've read that you said is that kind of stress and depression kind of contributed to your weight gain. So how did food kind of become your coping tool or was it a coping tool for you? Well, for me, uh, you know, my exercise uh, program went from Olympic gold medalist to Olympic bronze medalist to zero. And, you know, food was something that I enjoyed always eating, even when I was competing. But after I stopped exercising, I could start seeing the weight gain. And in my personal life, my business, uh, I wasn't able to get my doors open in my health club. And so I got stressed. I got depressed about uh, not being able to be successful in the business world. And so at that point, I started putting on a lot of weight until I actually got my health club up and running. And then it was like I know if I get on the biggest loser I can make the most positive impact change in a short amount of time if I got on the, you know the biggest loser and I did I got the opportunity to get my health and my uh, wellness back and now ultimately you know I'm back to my Olympic strength and now back training for the Olympic team so now when you have stress in your life how do you cope with it now that you're not using those more unhealthy coping tools how do you do it now <laughs> well for me now um, a, a good way to relieve stress is uh, through workouts you know through you know my spin classes I actually speak you know t teach a spin class at my gym I actually work out uh, I lift weights I you know get on the treadmill I do intervals I do circuit training and then ultimately I, I wrestle again and now you know I get to go back in and uh, you know I have here in Nebraska I have my training partner Attila from Turkey I have another uh, young wrestler Nico from uh, you know, Minnesota who are here to actually helping me train to try to help me make the Olympic team so they can make the Olympic team. So sure. it's uh, it's all about, you know, finding your strengths and your, your passions. And I love wrestling. Wrestling's a great place that uh, I can go and get, you know, gets me in great shape. It just was about uh, staying true because I let myself lose focus and I stopped working out and I stopped being healthy like I should have. And now that I'm getting my health back, I, I feel so much better and I, I feel so much more confident about it. Okay. What are your, some of your health goals right now? My health goals now is to be as strong as I can for the Olympic trials, to be as healthy as I can, um, to be as lean as I can, to lose weight, and to get down to my Olympic weight. I'm about 300 pounds now. I need to be about 270 pounds to make uh, the 265 weight class. And so for me, I still need to lose more weight, and I need to still gain strength. And so after the Olympics next year, my goal is then to get down to about 250 and to lose a lot of the muscle because the muscle, even though it's big and strong and makes me powerful, mm -hmm. it's also detrimental to my heart and also to my health. Sure. So what, uh, what advice would you give to people who are non-athletes who are just trying to get healthy and make changes in their life? Well, one of the contestants on The Biggest Loser was Moses, and he actually lost 100 pounds in seven weeks. And he had a broken bone in his, uh, in his leg, and he couldn't exercise. And so he was stuck on his, you know, on basically his bed back when we were on The Biggest Loser. And it was like, well, do, does he go home? Mm -hmm. And Moses is like, I'm going to stay on the show. I need to lose the weight. And so he got up and he boxed every day. And in his bed, he would start boxing. And he would just sit there for, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight hours a day. Sure. And he lost all this weight because he boxed. Mm -hmm. And if he can do what he did and lose 100 pounds in six weeks, I can do anything. And, you know, those are the inspiration story, inspirational stories that I use to motivate me to say, you know what, Rulin, you think you have it rough? You don't. You know what? Look at your life and realize what you've been given and what you can accomplish and what you've been through. So work hard, believe in yourself, and just go out there and experience what you can. Because people like Moses and Bob and Jillian off The Biggest Loser, they taught me work. They taught me how to focus my energy and how to live healthy. Sure. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. I really appreciate it.